Bonjour à tous. Hello everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Or, in my case, complete single awareness day. Because I'm single as hell. <laughs> uh, but I had a good time. My friends and I went out to lunch for Palantines. <laughs> which was fantastic. There were eight of us. We went to an Italian restaurant. I had a smoked salmon... What is it called? Oh my god. It's a calzone. I'm an idiot. <laughs> but it's a smoked salmon calzone. It was fantastic. I loved it. And then we went to our class and had fun. And that was good. And that is basically all I did today other than write another chapter for my fanfiction. It has gotten a review and follows and people have favored it. I feel pressure to actually write it now. <laughs> oh man, I mean usually my stories get no recognition on this website and I don't really... I give up after three chapters. About three chapters is where I wind up stopping. This was chapter four. <laughs> So, we're already <laughs> one chapter more than I usually do, so progress, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, for this video, let's go through why Valentine's Day is stupid, because I am not in the mood to watch people go, I love you, Debbie. No. No, I am in the mood to eat as much chocolate as possible, even though it's 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> First things first, Valentine's Day is completely commercial. It just, it's an excuse to buy things. Cards, flowers, chocolate, go out to dinner, make it fancy, which means even more money. And I don't know, I'm a Capricorn, okay? I should be a materialistic person, but I'm only materialistic when it comes to books <laughs> and dictionaries. Because that's just the kind of nerd I am. I mean, I collect things, like decks of cards. That's weird. Let's see, what do I collect? I collect English to other language dictionaries, because I'm a nerd. My decks of cards. Uh, I collect books, period. And let's see. Is there anything else I specifically collect? don't think so. Nope. Those are the only things I'm actually pretty materialistic about. And I don't know. I feel strange to feel obligated to give people material things. It's not like a birthday or Christmas when giving is a way of showing like appreciation I guess and you could say that's what Valentine's Day does and that's fine but Valentine's Day is specifically for that significant other in your life so it never really applies universally and it's specific instances and it's specific things you're supposed to give them you are supposed to give them chocolate and flowers and a card and a fancy date. That those are really specific. For birthday you can give them things more specific to them, cater the gifts to them. And as far as whatever your winter holiday is, if you exchange gifts, Kwanzaa does, Hanukkah does, and Christmas does. I am ignorant to any others, sorry. <laughs> but you don't give them, you know, the specific gifts. I mean, you might give them socks because they need socks because everyone needs socks at Christmas time. Seriously. <laughs> when you know, you know you're getting older when you say yes socks to Christmas because you realize how much you need them. <laughs> oh man. But I don't know. I like being able to say, hey, you are my friend, this is your special day, or it's a special day, and I'm going to give you something that reminds me of you that speaks to our relationship. Chocolates and flowers apply to romantic relationships in general, it's not specific. 
to that person, and I'd rather be specific with that person. That's one of the reasons why I kind of think Valentine's Day is a little stupid. <laughs> I don't know. Celebrating love is great. Go do it. Honestly, have fun. Be safe. Wear protection. But we... We don't really acknowledge some of the things that actually happened on Valentine's Day. Like there was a St. Valentine's Day massacre at one point. No one talks about that. And Cupid, getting shot in the butt by Cupid has always seemed a little ridiculous to me. Don't know why a, someone in a diaper shooting arrows at people specifically to make them fall in love is just is strange. <laughs> it's just strange. I mean, think about it. Just someone in a diaper or whatever shooting of arrows at people's butts. What the hell? <laughs> I don't understand. Don't understand. Last thing is mostly that Valentine's Day can make you very much aware that you're in a relationship or very much aware that you're not. Sometimes it's not as big of a deal like in France here. It's not as big of a thing, but for some it is. It depends on the couple. Which is cool, but in the US, Valentine's Day is everywhere. And you sit there kind of going, mm, great, great. I just feel like it puts unnecessary pressure on people to either be with somebody if they're not, or to go all out for someone they've been dating. And bear in mind, this is go all out for someone you've started dating two days ago, two weeks ago, two months ago, or two years ago. It doesn't matter. And I feel like that the kind of thing should be subjective. Like Valentine's Day is great, but if you've only been dating for two days, already going to an all out fancy restaurant, I don't know, maybe I'm weird and prefer my first dates to be in very casual, low-key kind of places and hanging out but I don't know I always feel social pressure when I'm in a really fancy restaurant and I have to be really comfortable with that person I'm not really a big fan of fancy restaurants and it's weird but honestly give me pizza give me chocolate and I will be a happy person basically we don't need Valentine's Day it's kind of unnecessary but hey no good for what it's worth because chocolate was on sale, Belgian chocolate was on sale, and you know I took advantage of that. <laughs> but all in all, I hope you guys had a great Valentine's Day. I hope you had fun. I hope that no one's sitting there in their room crying alone because at least buy yourself some chocolate and feel better and watch Netflix. At least do that then you will have a good time. But yeah, other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed and au revoir. Bye everybody.